I guess it's hard to separate shenanigans from work here. Scott and Josh came in here earlier and trashed my place because I hadn't done the dishes yet. Yeah, now that I think about it, I come in and I do work and it feels like shenanigans. Someone's gonna find out someday. I'm gonna get in big trouble. Leave Brian alone! Ah! Why are you doing that to my place? No! No! Hate! No! Ah! Uh. Kick! Clear the table! Oh, those were important! Ah! Those were really important! Ah! Revenge! <laughs> Alright, so now you get to come and clean this up, right? No. Noticed that there were some Pepsi cans on my desk. There were probably, I don't know, three or four of them. And then I started to investigate further and uh, realized that there were more than three or four Pepsi cans. There were many Pepsi cans. And so then I spent the next hour searching for all the Pepsi cans. Some were hidden in a drawer, some were hidden behind the books, some were hidden in ceiling panels, some were hidden in the guitar. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you, because you saw it all happen. Anyway, I'm missing four. I haven't gone through all the ceiling panels, so I guess I have to do that. And that's gonna suck, since I don't have a, a ladder. I only have a step ladder. Oh. You'll never find it, Robert! You'll never find it! Fuck, he's gonna find it! Kick him. Kick the ladder out. Don't let him find it. What the fuck is that? See this ending in his demise. It's been a good run for Penny Kid, though. I mean, you were here for what, three weeks? Almost. This is a terrible idea. Great. I don't die. Ready? You good? Yep. Okay, great. Oh, I see it. Fuck. I'd watch out, guys. Oh, let me see that. Uh, there it is. It's the one. That's the one. It's the one I really care about. All the other ones can fucking rot and die. <laughs> it's unfortunate for her. This next one's gonna be very elaborate. Oh no. Yeah. I mean, you guys have pranked me so many times and so yes. in such horrible ways. Yeah, but we were pranking you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It was happening That's to someone the else. <laughs> yes, it's very when it happens to someone else. Very funny. Incredibly funny. But don't you think that's not fair that that you can't be joked upon? Well, that's not exactly true. I can be joked upon. It's like when you guys wrote that letter to me from a woman and you pushed it underneath the door of my... Oh, yeah, we sprayed it with perfume. ...of my room, and you had a girl write it, and then you invited me to a place that. as a woman. What, what hotel were we at? What were we there for? We were for? in Pittsburgh. That's right, we were in Pittsburgh. I, I, and, uh, I, I wasn't mad, but at the same time, I knew that it was not true. <laughs> we got the... Uh, Robert and I got the the lady at the front desk of the hotel to write a letter inviting him to come down. Because a girl had shown up at, at the signing that night. And they had kind of, you know, they were chatting it up. And so we thought it'd be really funny. We had her write the note saying that she was downstairs in the lobby and that, that Jerry should come meet her. We got a little perfume on it. Girl wrote it with the big loops and the, you know, hard eyes. Slid it under his door. <laughs> yeah, 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 but again, like not, not How long angry. did you sit and stare at that letter? 
people file. <laughs> Because I mean, I wanted to believe it too, but I yeah. knew, but I knew that it was not possible. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like I knew that it was inconceivable. Yeah. Yeah. Part of you thought it could be conceivable. Yeah. I bet you had your shoes on. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> I bet you had a shoe on. Would you? Hold on for a second. Let me. Let me... <laughs> hey, um, we're talking about uh, uh, pranks and shenanigans, and I, you know, I was talking about the Pepsi can. Yeah. So, what do you think of this whole football thing between Brian and uh, and Levan? It's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of similar to, I guess, Robert and Erica's prank. It's already been done before, isn't that right, Erica? Mm -hmm. They're like in the JV league. <laughs> they had the hide the Pepsi can thing for the longest time. And uh, we not hide a football, which is well, where it is right now. Oh no. <laughs> you don't want to hide your football in Levin's office. It started off where we actually tried to hide the football, but it's a football and there's only so much space in an office, so now it's like, how obviously can you place it? Like this morning I came in and my computer was like this. There's a football underneath it. You could swing this one around so it's like right behind the other one, right? Oh, I walked in one day and it was right behind the blind. It's like this huge bulge. You know, it's, it's just ridiculous. That way he won't suspect that it's not a speaker. <laughs> Shenanigans happen in every office. Maybe they happen with more frequency here. Or we don't feel like we might get in trouble for shenaniging. Is that a, is that a word? Oh, shit, shenanigans! <laughs> Robert Soda, as of 2 p.m., 5-13-2010. Yeah, she got me good. It was, it was good. It was good because it frustrated the hell out of me. I first saw it because uh, I'm sort of obsessive compulsive, so not finding all the cans is one thing. Not finding the can really pissed me off. Oh, well. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. I have reheated in the can. I've considered the idea that you could excavate a hole in the wall 
Like like a movie safe where you go like this and then there's a hole there. There's no reason not to look. That's a good spot. <laughs> That's a good spot. I'll try it again. And I, I have already begun my plans. 